the world is full of data about us. From birth to death, about travel, health, education, environment. Machine learning and artificial intelligence have created unprecedented possibilities to do something good with the data. But there are also possibilities to cause harm. Well, quite often the data sets used do not represent the whole population they claim to represent. For example, with facial recognition, data is often gathered on, from online databases, uh, online pictures that represent white men. So the software used for recognition is useful for recognizing white men, but not any other group. And this is, of course, very unfair. But it's not only a question of machines and AI, it's as humans. We humans have to make decisions with data. But if we don't understand how databases, algorithms and models are constructed, and if we don't know how to interpret the numbers, we cannot make responsible and informed decisions. Research, product development, services, all of these require detailed data about individuals. But for example, with health research, the information required is quite often sensitive. And not all people are willing to share their sensitive data. All these are complicated issues and there are no general solutions. But still, we must address these problems. We need collaboration from many fields, like computer science, sociology, law, cognitive science. And we need tools and understanding on many levels as well. We need data literacy. Data literacy is the ability to read, understand and make informed decisions from data. Our project advances data literacy by busting myths and common misunderstandings about the data. We also develop tools that aid data literacy and responsible decision making, like synthetic data and transparent machine learning models. Responsible decision making in the future will be based on data literacy.